two, one. This is the clever lever chain reaction technique which I invented in 2007 as an alternative to stick bombs. And these are the first clever lever videos ever made. I want you to practice safe sticks and always wear safety goggles when playing with clever levers. This is a basic clever lever chain. As you can see each element consists of two sticks a fulcrum, usually a wooden block, and a rubber band or two as a power source. Here are your basic supplies for a clever lever chain. First you need sticks. I prefer rulers, but if you don't have rulers, tongue depressors work fine. Next you need some sort of a fulcrum. I use wooden blocks, like so, but in a pinch you can also use dominoes. And finally, you need some sort of a rubber band for power. And just about any rubber band works fine. It's just that you need to have them be consistent in size, like so. Constructing a clever lever chain is actually very simple once you get the hang of it. First you grab your rubber band or rubber bands. And I twirl them around a few times to balance out the tension in them like that. And then I uh, hold the rubber bands with one hand like that. And then I grab two sticks with the other hand and carefully place them like that and um, carefully separate the sticks like that. Grab the fulcrum and slide it in and you might have to adjust it carefully uh, just to make sure everything balances out and it's not crooked like that. And once you got it in place then you grab the element and slide it in and voila! Starting a clever lever chain is so simple even I can do it. First of all you start by constructing your first element. And once that's built, you grab another fulcrum and use that as a spacer for the other end. And what you need to do is put some weight on this end to keep the sticks from flying apart. And what I do is build a little platform and then I grab some weight and use it to hold the open end down. This loon head, by the way, was carved by my dad who was an excellent woodworker. And there you go. You can build your clever lever chains in many different patterns. First there's the diagonal pattern. Or you can go with an orthogonal pattern like this. Or you can just go nuts. One of the great things about clever lever chains is that you can easily add as many split offs as you want. Another neat trick you can do with clever levers is to add shrapnel so that you have extra stuff flying around when it explodes. And if you have ping pong balls, you're in even more danger of having too much fun. Transitioning from a herringbone chain to a clever lever chain is surprisingly easy. Just take the first element of your clever lever chain, like so, place it close to your herringbone chain, near the end of course, and uh, put a weight between the two so that one end of the weight is holding down the clever lever element and the other end of the weight is resting on the herringbone chain. So when the weight falls, it triggers the clever lever. And like so. And now that you know the secret to making clever lever chains, you can have more fun than you can shake a stick at. And remember to practice safe sticks. Woohoo!